Hi, boys and girls. Uh, before I share the work for today with Peter's Chair, if you have not watched the first video where I'm reading and asking questions about Peter's Chair, please make sure you watch that video first. This video will for be, um, be for our second day with Peter's Chair. So we're reading Peter's chair and learning about Peter and how he's feeling about his new baby sister. And today I want you to think about all of the things in the book that Peter was just too big for. If we go back and look in the story, his mom had the cradle. Peter slept in this cradle when he was a baby, but now he's just too big for that cradle. And the high chair that dad was painting, Peter's too big for that high chair. And the crib that they painted pink, Peter used to sleep in that crib, but he's just too big. And then don't forget that blue chair that Peter tried to take, but then he realized he can't even sit in it anymore because he's just too big. So what I want you to think about are what are some things that you are too big for now? I have this page here, and I know you don't have this page at home, but you do have paper you can use to draw a picture for me. There's even a booklet with lined paper in your bag that you could use. But this says on this side, I am too big for... And can you draw a picture of something you used to use, but you're just too big for it now? And over here, it says, I am not too big for. Can you draw a picture over here of something that is just right for you now? Something that you're not too big for, something that you use now. So I am too big for. I am not too big for. And down here, if you want to get some help from a grown-up, maybe you could even write the words to match your pictures. Whatever you drew here, you could write a word to match it. Whatever you drew here, you could write a word to match it. I know you don't have this exact paper, but you should have some paper in your blue bag that you could use. I would love to see the work that you're doing for this, and it's just as easy as taking a picture and sending it to me through Class Dojo or through text message, or you could even post a picture on Schoology if you want to try that. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. 